Hello everyone and welcome to Around Carmel with Hunter Fennell. The Pebble Beach Golf Links, just a month or so removed from being the host site of the United States Open Golf Tournament, is also the host for the greatest car show on earth. It's called the Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance, and it happens every August right along the 18th fairway here at the Pebble Beach Golf Links. And the person responsible for assembling this automobile extravaganza is none other than the Concord Chairman, Sandra Button, who is with me today. And you know what? You wouldn't run a car show, would you, if you didn't love cars yourself. Right, Sandra? Oh, I love cars. I mean, I, who doesn't? <laughs> I want to I want to hear first off about your beautiful machine behind me, who, Martin, your husband tells me it is the Jaguar. Well, the SS100, like a lot of Jaguars, um, embodies the hobby and loving racing and style and speed, and this car does it all. I mean, you can go to any Concours event, you can go to the racetrack and drive home when you're done. Tell me, when people hear the word, and a lot of people mispronounce it, but it is the Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance. What is a Concours d'Elegance? Well, the Pebble Beach Concours is first and foremost a competition of elegance. And Concours events started in France at a time when people used to meet and stop and, and graze their horses and carriages. And that stopped with the automobile. So they decided another way to meet and greet was to have these competitions of elegance. And they had fantastic French styling to go along with it. Now the history, obviously, 1937, there's some history right here behind us. But that's what's so neat about the Concours. Uh, the history of this event, is that what you like? Well, collecting cars and loving cars, it's like loving a piece of history. I mean, they embody so much, not just engineering and design, but also moments in time when people like Sterling Moss or Phil Hill, you know, Phil raced right here in the forest. That's right. what started it all. There's so many winners during Concord Pebble Beach d'Elegance, but charity's a big winner too, isn't it, Sandra? Well, the Pebble Beach Concord has always been about charity from the very first day, and we've raised over $13 million, and the great thing is it all stays here on the Monterey Peninsula. Thank you very much, Sandra. And what do you say we hop in the Jaguar and find out how it drives? Oh, let's huh? do it. Let's, let's that's go. Great. Let's go, Sandra. I'll put you over here. <laughs> <laughs> when you're here for the Concours and you want to park your car and stay, why Carmel by the Sea has a few options. The Cypress Inn is located on Lincoln and Seventh in downtown Carmel. Uh, it's a very special place owned by my father, Dennis Levette, and Doris Day. Uh, it was built in 1929. Doris's most important feature, her favorite thing about this, and, and what she insisted on is that it would be pet friendly. And this is our second trip to the Cypress Inn. Uh, we loved our first stay. We come up to uh, Carmel for the shopping and for the weather. The Cypress Inn is very, very dog friendly and we always meet uh, other good pet owners here. The Cypress Inn has 44 rooms. Uh, each room is very unique though. Every room is different from each other, so it's always a unique experience. Uh, when you bring your pet with you, we, we offer pet blankets and dog bowls. During the day, our guests can enjoy afternoon tea, which is very special. Every weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and even on Sundays, we have live music here. And so you can come in and enjoy your drink in the living room with your dog and enjoy the weekend on, or the music on the weekends. It's great. From staycation to food station, the Concorde d'Elegance at Pebble, to Epicurean delights around the peninsula. Isabella's Restaurant, located on historic Fisherman's Wharf, this two-story structure has expansive and spectacular views of the Monterey Bay from inside and out. Isabella serves fine Italian seafood and steaks with a wonderful selection of wines. I'm here with the owner and chef of Isabella's, Mr. Tini Shake. And Tini, first tell me why the name of the restaurant? Isabella is named after my mama. Uh, loves to cook just like you. And why don't you tell us about these fine dishes we have? This is Chipino, actually originated out of San Francisco by Italian and Portuguese fishermen. Our signature pasta Isabella and our grilled fish trio with salmon, halibut, and sea bass over white truffle mashed potatoes. Oh, you are making me hungry. And uh, I got to ask you, do you have a favorite dish yourself? Pasta Isabella, of course. Smart man, loves his mom. Enjoy the very best in fine Italian seafood here at Isabella's. With panoramic views of the Pacific, you would be hard pressed to find a more perfect place to dine than at Latitude's restaurant at Romantic Lover's Point in Pacific Grove. 
inside latitudes is Longitudes, full service bar that's become a favorite for locals and tourists alike. Okay, we're in the kitchen here at Latitudes with celebrity TV chef Teeny Shake and Teeny, what are we cooking, my man? This is our shrimp scampi with garlic, butter, white wine, and black olives. And Hunter, get to work. Let's pour right in over that spinach fettuccine. Ooh, let's do that, Teeny. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Isn't that amazing? I got the easy job. Yes, Ooh, you do. Good. And we're gonna continue working. This is our local macadamia crusted sea bass uh, with a little bit of a citrus sauce. Just a little just bit. Just a little bit, looks just like that. But good. We took the calories out and a little bit of a uh, uh, tropical garnish right on top just like that and folks there you go pure <laughs> latitudes but the question is when do we eat hey right now come join us yeah we love latitudes come on as well as being beautiful to the eye the classic cars brought to pebble beach every summer are driving machines and what better road is there to drive along than pebble beach's famous 17 mile drive which winds through pine and cypress forest and all along the dramatic cliffs and bays of the Pacific. Accordingly, the Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance has been paired with the Pebble Beach Tour d'Elegance since 1998. And Craig Davis of Pebble Beach, who started the Tour d'Elegance here in Pebble Beach, is with us in his beautiful French blue machine. And first, I gotta ask you, Craig, tell us about this. Well, it's a 1936 Taube Lago. It uh, carries a Dirac badge because the car, when it was first sold uh, after racing, was sold in England and, and the French Talbot company couldn't use the English name Talbot. And uh, it had quite a race history. It won the Grand Prix of France in, I think, 1937 and was raced in many, many different events over the years. And since I've had it, I've used it on the retrospective Cal uh, California Mille Amelia and the Mille Amelia in Italy. And then we also did a trip to Le Mans with it where we got to race on the on the circuit, 24-hour circuit, so it's a great car to use. Well, Craig, we sit here and we look at here, and I, I don't see on the dash, I don't see a speedometer, so how fast does this baby go? I couldn't tell you, fast. actually. It goes, it, it's quick enough for me. <laughs> and when you're in an open, low car like this, you feel the speed a lot more, of course. Uh, basically, they didn't use speedometers in a lot of these early race cars. They drove by the tack, and it was a question of not over-revving the car and then going as fast as you could. And just beating the other guy, right? Exactly. Craig, why was it so important, do you think, to have the Pebble Beach Concorde d'Elegance have cars that drive. Well, I think if you look at the Concorde, it, it, it is the best in the world. I think there's not much question about that. And one of the criticisms, especially overseas of the Concorde, was the cars were trailer queens. They actually, some of them didn't drive. They could get up over the ramp, but that was it. And I lived in Europe for a number of years where cars were out and used, I think, more than at that time in this country. And so when we came back here, I talked to Jay and Lauren, and I said, why don't we, why don't we put something together where the cars are actually out being used, and we can show the world that, that in fact, these cars are, are great cars, and they're meant to be driven. They're cars. They're not static. And everybody thought it was a good idea, so we started at, at that point and, and put together this tour uh, of the cars and to show that both beautiful cars and cars that it can be used. Craig, thank you very much. You're welcome. Fine cars, fine food and drink are a plenty of the Concorde d'Elegance at Pebble Beach. Just something to whet your appetite for wonderful restaurants in the area. Da Giovanni Restaurant, located on Lincoln Street between 5th and 6th, Carmel by the Sea. Da Giovanni is more of the smaller romantic restaurant. Our family run restaurant, famous for our Greek salad, uh, the Mediterranean salad. Uh, most people come from around the world to experience that. We're uh, also famous for our homemade cannellonis, has the ground filet mignon, ricotta cheese, and basil. Uh, my dad has uh, put together a nice wine selection. We have our own winery up in Sonoma. We have about 27 different labeled wines from Chardonnay to Riesling and Cabernet. Pretty much all of our customers are repeat people or they bring their friends in. And We've seen families grow. We've had people come in when they're pregnant and now they have their young children coming in. And a lot of people come here to get engaged and married, and it's a very special family-run restaurant. You always feel special when you come here and treat it like family. Bicho Giovanni, we're on San Carlos between 5th and 6th, two blocks north of Ocean Avenue. We're fine dining with a bistro style. Our menu is uh, Mediterranean Italian, but it also has some California cuisine in it. Some of our house specialties here, we have the famous Greek salad, it's fantastic here. We also have the pasta mamma mia, which is uh, Mediterranean spices, cinnamon, cardamom, filet mignon, meatballs, and a rigatoni noodle. Our wines are famous here in the community and far away. It really invites you to, to dine al fresco, to really almost like let your hair down and enjoy your meal, enjoy the people you're dining with. 
And that's the kind of atmosphere we want here at Bistro Giovanni. We want you to feel like you're in a family restaurant, but it's fine dining with excellent food, wonderful wines, great service, in a beautiful Carmel setting. What more could you want? This is Bistro Beaujolais in Carmel Plaza. It was mentioned in uh, the Wall Street Journal as one of the most idyllic, idyllic shopping plazas in the United States of America. Uh, we've, uh, what I've done here is enhanced it by adding Bistro Beaujolais, which is a beautiful restaurant. As you can see, we have murals that actually transport you to Europe without leaving paradise, which Carmel is. We do all kinds of uh, French colony bistro style foods. We do sandwiches, paninis, French onion soup, chicken lemon soup. We do salmon galettes, which we're famous for. We have a full service bar, and I believe we're the only restaurant in Carmel that does absinthe, which was banned in the USA. We have a beautiful patio out there with a fire pit, heated lamps. And then we also have live music on Friday and Saturday nights. And during the summer, we have jazz at the plaza. More fine dining to come. But before we test your taste buds again, did you know that car lovers at this year's Concours may want to write home with some of the coolest pens ever made? Bittner, the pleasure of writing, located on Ocean Avenue in San Carlos in Carmel by the Sea. And I'm with the owner now, Detlef Bittner. Hello, Hunter. Great to see you. We're so excited. This is our 20th anniversary at Bittner, and we have created the most amazing collection of fine writing instruments from around the world. Let me show you. Monte Grappa for Alfa Romeo, the 100th anniversary of this incredible mark. Combinations in sterling silver, carbon fiber, and red celluloid. Bentley riding instruments created just like the cars, only the finest materials and finest craftsmanship, just pure excellence. David Oscarson, creations in sterling silver and hard enamel, just like Fabergé designs. Cuervo y Sobrinos masterpieces, created with the Latin soul and precision Swiss engineering. Enjoy. Bittner, the pleasure of writing, Carmel. Write this down with your Bittner pen. Did you know that the Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance is one of 50 such events in the state of California? And since we are on a golf course, did you also know there are only a handful of mat systems tailor-made for a golfer? And one is not far from us here in Pebble Beach. Quail Golf and Country Club in Carmel Valley, California is home of the only mat system in Northern California. MAT stands for Motion Analysis Technology by TaylorMade. The MAT system captures vital swing information and statistics using multiple high-speed cameras and reflective markers placed on the golfer. The computer then creates a 3D image that we can play back and view from every angle. We watch a player hit balls first on the driving range. Then we do the MAT fitting. We take the computer-generated specs we build a golf club for them, take them back out onto the driving range, and we watch to see what the difference is. The mat system at Quail Golf and Country Club is available to members and non-members alike. It's open for everyone to use. Got your golf swing? Now, need a place to play? Well, why not try the home of the Northern California Golf Association, right here in the Del Monte Forest. We're here at the Poppy Hills Golf Course, home of the NCGA in the Del Monte Forest in Pebble Beach, and I'm joined by head golf professional Justin Williams. Justin, tell us about this fantastic facility. Well, Poppy Hills was uh, built in 1986, Robert Trent Jones design. Uh, it's home to 175,000 members, and uh, if I could describe this course in one word, it would be value for sure. Uh, members can come down here during the week and play golf for $55, which is pretty unbelievable in the forest. So. Absolutely. It's in great condition. I know you have wonderful merchandise, too. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> uh, in the pro shop, right? Yes. We uh, have an award-winning golf shop, top 100 shop, three out of the last four years by Golf World, so we're very excited about the shop. And Paul Porter, a great old friend of ours uh, who we lost several years ago, but you have a wonderful restaurant in his yeah. honor. Yeah, Porter's Grill and Bar. Uh, we do numerous events there throughout the year. It's, it's a great place to come and cool off after a good round. A nice facility to practice on as well, huh? Yeah, yeah. All grass facility, chipping green, uh, putting green. Yep, phenomenal. Okay, people need to get out here and play some golf, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. The We'd weather's always it. like this. Exactly, huh? it's always like this. <laughs> no problem. Thanks, Justin. Yeah. Back in the automotive swing of things, it's a great achievement for cars to be selected to participate in the Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance, and yet another for them to undergo the strict judging process and win their class, and perhaps go on to win Best of Show. 
And to talk about judging the beautiful cars at the Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance is Jack Passy. We're at his home here in Watsonville, California. And Jack, we know you've shown cars for many, many years and you've judged what for some 37 years. But I think a lot of people like to know what do you have to be? What do you have to have to be a good judge? It takes a lot of experience and you get the experience by being interested in uh, reading all about the cars and visiting other collectors so you can see how their cars are restored. I actually started out uh, with the Classic Car Club and uh, I judged car shows for the Classic Car Club for a long time and I didn't get invited to Pebble Beach until 1972. What's become so important to the Concord at Pebble Beach, Jack, that I hear is preserving cars. The car we have right behind us, tell me about this, because this is a perfect example, is it not? Well, this is a 1924 Pierce, and uh, it's still wearing its original paint. It, it has had a, some extra spray done on the fenders a little bit. But, but this car basically is just the way it came from the factory, and it's just done its own aging without leaving it outside or doing anything that would injure it. But so many people that uh, are a lot of the, the collectors who bring their cars, they like to restore them, make them look new. But your thought is it's better for people to come to the Concorde and really see cars as they were. Yeah. Is that your thought? Well, yeah. Why is it important to preserve these cars? Well, it, it's important because once you restore it, if you, if you cover it all up, then it's gone forever. Finally, uh, if, if someone had never been to the Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance, what would you tell them as the reason they must go? I think before I told them they must go, I would need to ask them if, whether they like cars or not. <laughs> but uh, Pebble Beach is, the, in my opinion, I haven't been to a, every car show in America, but to me, Pebble Beach has always been the champion car show. So you're looking forward to August and Pebble Beach, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, Jack Passy, thanks very much. We appreciate you sharing your hobby with us. Thank you, Hunter. It's a pleasure to share this with you. Thank you. The Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance is always held in the month of August. And for women who attend and want to dress fashionably, why, there's... Augustina's, a gallery of wearable art for men and women, has two locations in Carmel-by-the-Sea, Augustina's on Ocean Avenue and Augustina Leathers at San Carlos and 6th Street. When you walk into Augustina's, you understand why this unrivaled boutique and its friendly staff is the celebrity must-stop for designer fashions and wearable art. Augustina's carries furs, leather, and suede, along with designer clothing, Preview one of the nicest selections of contemporary and Western one-of-a-kind sterling silver and gold buckle sets by Comstock Heritage. Stunning 18-karat gold and diamond jewelry by Judith Ripka. Leather, suede, and exotic skins for women by Lynn Leather and men's jackets from Remy. Augustina's features the largest representation in the world of Paula Lishman, the original hand-knit fur designer. Amazing Augustina's the perfect fit for 23 years in Carmel. And from fashionable dress to fine jewels. On Ocean and Lincoln Avenues in Carmel at the Pine Inn is Fortane Estate Jewelers. And inside we find the people who make Fortane tick. Yes, family is important to us, both ours and yours. And I believe that everything with the past has a future. And here at Fortane, we do have something for everyone. Without a doubt, all of us are here to help you find your perfect gem or timepiece. Absolutely. In fact, we have one of the most important collections of new and rare Rolex watches in the world. Our passion is for fine period and antique jewelry and for our customers, who we hope leave as friends and always come back. And as Chris's pooch Parker can attest, diamonds are indeed a dog's best friend, especially when they come from Fortane in Carmel by the Sea. Tires meet the turf during the Concord d'Elegance at Pebble Beach. And if you like surf and turf, why it's not far away in Monterey.
Welcome to Domenico's Restaurant, located on Fisherman's Wharf in Monterey. We've been a locally owned and operated restaurant, serving our customers since 1981. We serve the freshest seafood available on the market today. Well, I've been a fisherman since 19 years old. Uh, I still fish in Alaska, and I know where to get the good stuff. The beautiful wild salmon, the Alaska halibut, the king crab. Uh, that's our specialty here at Domenico's, and you could eat it right here. We have many, many loyal customers that have been returning to Domenico's for years and years. They love our delicious food, our exceptional service, and our beautiful view. On your next visit to the wharf in Old Monterey, be sure to dine at Domenico's. Cafe Fina Restaurant, located on Fisherman's Wharf in Monterey. And I'm here with the owner of Cafe Fina, good friend Dominic Mercurio. And Dominic, it's been known as Cafe Fina for the past 21 years, but before that, it was known as Gino's Famous Seafood, and it was your playground? At one time, this was my rooftop diving board where all my friends and I hung out during the summers and had some of the greatest memories of my life. Oh, that is pretty cool. And now your seafood, obviously unmatched. You've got the wonderful chipino, you've got the pasta and shrimp, and the sand abs I know are really succulent here, but fresh veggies too, right? Well, I have a small little farm in Los Banos that I sort of kept low key, and I, I did it for therapy. <laughs> but I grow several different heirloom variety tomatoes during the summer months. We bring a lot of the vegetables most of the vegetables to the restaurant now. Really makes a difference and you also told me a story about that table upstairs in the corner. More proposals probably made there than anywhere at any restaurant in Monterey, huh? That's true <laughs> and also I propose if you come to Monterey you come and try Cafe Fina on Fisherman's Wharf. Sounds good. Thanks Tom. While guests view rows and rows of gorgeous automobiles at the Pebble Beach Concour, they can also visit another cool row. Cannery Row is the Central Coast's premier visitor destination and Northern California's favorite oceanfront getaway. You'll find luxury hotels, TripAdvisor's most romantic hotel in the U.S., more ocean view guest rooms than anywhere else on the Monterey Peninsula, and a Forbes four-star resort and spa. Choose from a wide variety of exciting restaurants overlooking the bay. Cannery Row is destination fun on the land and in the water. Taste premium wines in four different local tasting rooms. Shops, boutiques, and galleries offer an array of unique clothing, art, jewelry, and gifts. At night, Cannery Row's fine dining restaurants invite you to relax and remember the day with award-winning cuisine and service. Plan your next oceanfront getaway at cannerybrow.com and receive $1,500 in savings. Smiles are abundant at the Concord d'Elegance at Pebble Beach, and many of those smiles are made by local professionals. A winning smile and world-class service. That's the mission for Carmel dentist Bradford Carl. Uh, today we can create a beautiful smile in a comfortable high-tech environment uh, with a staff that's been with me for 22 years. Uh, with several options. One option being Invisalign, which are clear retainers. Uh, another option is veneers, bleaching, or a one-visit crown called Cirac. These are all great options for our patients. And Dr. Carl has the one-two punch when it comes to you visiting his office building in Carmel Rancho, as upstairs his friend Beata Moore at Biocosmetic makes a patient's skin as pretty as Dr. Carl makes his patient smile. Practicing the craft of fine skin care has been in my family for generations. Having begun my practice in Europe, I now combine both old and new world practices, uh, bringing you the best possible treatments to make your skin beautiful. Inside the same medical building at Carmel Rancho is Dr. Stephen C. Smith, a nationally recognized periodontist who's been practicing for more than 15 years, but never as comfortably as now because of a new dental instrument called the laser-assisted new attachment procedure, known as LANAP. This is a unique, specific laser that has fibers the size of three human hairs that is inserted between the teeth and the gums to eradicate the bacteria. The options of treating periodontal disease are to traditionally to cut away the gum tissue versus this new method that uses laser energy to eradicate the bacteria that cause periodontal disease. Dr. Smith performed the laser treatment and the results have been fantastic. 
Dr. Stephen Smith performs laser magic at Carmel Rancho in Carmel, as well as his second office on Dunn Avenue in Morgan Hill. The Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance has now raised more than $13 million for charity. In fact, it has raised more than $1 million in each of the past four years. And putting on a show and giving back is what the Concord is all about. And a couple of gentlemen who have helped make that dream come true are with us here at Pebble Beach, Mark Verbonich of the Pebble Beach Company and Dick Mernigan, formerly the Executive Director of the United Way of Monterey County, standing beside some of the fabulous trophies awarded each year at the Concours, including the beautiful Crystal Best of Show. Dick, we'll start with you and this community. It really is all about giving, and for more than three decades, you have really helped drive home that concept. Why? I don't know. I think uh, when I arrived here at Fort Ord, I was assigned to the United Way Board of Directors and I became involved with the agencies and, and uh, I finally figured out that people drive by these agencies all the time and they don't know the good work that they do in the community. And that's what really got me uh, involved and interested. And Mark, obviously the Pebble Beach Company so intertwined with the Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance. What is Pebble Beach's stand as far as its charitable arm? Well, we've had a tremendous partnership with the Pebble Beach Concor um, over the years, uh, going back to the 1950s with the Del Monte Road Races, uh, from which the Concor evolved. Uh, so it's been a very long-term relationship, uh, which has matured over the years. Also, Mark, the Pebble Beach Company's foundation. Can you tell us about that? Well, the Pebble Beach Company Foundation benefits directly from uh, the Pebble Beach Concor every year. In fact, the uh, Concor is the primary source of revenue for the Pebble Beach Company Foundation. And we, in turn, then are able to fund uh, grants to a number of local nonprofit organizations. And since its inception, the Pebble Beach Company Foundation has donated over $3 million to local charities. Now, aside from the charitable, part of things. Why do you guys love the Concourse so much? Uh, since the Concourse started, uh, it has become the premier event in the world for classic cars, and, and we're told that cars are just restored and shown at the Concourse the first time. And uh, I can't imagine uh, uh, any event uh, with any other United Way in, in the country that uh, is so successful. We're pretty lucky, bottom line, right guys? Very we much so. Are. <laughs> Judging by the 60 years of Concord d'Elegance history in Pebble Beach, one needs not be an expert to determine why this is the greatest auto show on earth. And if you'd like to become a sponsor of our show, Around Carmel with Hunter Fennell, just call the number at the bottom of your screen or email us at hunter at hunterfennellmedia.com. Finally, hats off to Sandra Button and the entire staff of the Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance. Definitely, unquestionably, the best in show.